Hey friends, Jen Hoffman from HealthyMoving.com. So I wanted to come to you today to chat with you about hard things, about how you approach challenge in life. And I'm coming to you to talk to you about this today because it's been popping up for members of the Healthy Moving community this week and even for myself. Lots of hard, challenging things happening around us. So when we're talking about a physical exercise, maybe you try something and you encounter unexpected tension. You look at it and you say, oh, I should be able to do that. And then you go to do it and you think, oh my gosh, I'm so tight. There's no way I can do that. Or unexpected weakness. You, same thing, you look at an exercise, you say, okay, I'm gonna start doing that, and then you try it and think, oh, I don't have the ability, the, the muscle strength to do that exercise at all right now. The people who've kind of encountered that hard wall physically with exercises this week in the coaching program, and then somebody who also got the neck and shoulder bundle this week, said to me the same thing. They, they all said, this is the point where I normally quit, or this is where I normally throw in the towel and walk away. And isn't that how it is for so many of us when we hit those walls, whether it's with an exercise or whether it's with life, you're trying to do something and it seems like no matter what you try, there's all these walls that you keep facing. And it's so tempting to quit, to throw in the towel and to give up. And I think in life, this is one of the hardest, most challenging mindset shifts to make and to have. So I have an intention to give you. The reason I wanna help you with the mindset on this is because all growth, all self-improvement, all positive change happens on the other side of challenge. We have to find a way to go through it. But I'm not a no pain, no gain person. I'm not someone who's ever gonna tell you, push past it, ignore it, keep going. No, I don't believe in that. But I believe there's a middle ground between those two extremes. And the middle ground centers around this intention. The harder something is, the more it requires my softness. Every time I say that, I just wanna like exhale for a moment. The harder something is, the more it requires my softness. Sometimes like right now when I say it, it's hard to not get choked up because when you hear the truth of that, there's a part of you that's set free, that's like, okay, because it's acknowledging the hard. It's saying that this is challenging, that I wish this was easier, that this doesn't feel good, that I don't like hard things, that it's, it's hard to face hard, but that also we have an ability to be soft toward them, to approach them gently. I have another video and I'm gonna link it here that talks about how to do this dance with an exercise, how to kind of ease your way into something. And that's the physical part, but this mental work and how we think about a hard thing, it matters before you even approach the exercise because this is what's forming your habits and your norms. I'm so proud of the people this week that said, this is the part where I normally quit but I'm raising my hand to tell you that I feel that way so that you can help me because that's what I'm all about. That's why I do all the mindset work I do in my coaching and challenge program. Every week I'm giving them mindset exercises because I wanna pull up this kind of subconscious programming so that we can look at it because Yes, it impacts our health and wellness, and yes, it impacts how we move our bodies, but I am a student of personal development and change and what really makes people actually change and kind of up-level their life. I st spend as much time studying that as I do the exercise because I know that this work, it's like a gateway to so much amazing change. To those of you who've told me this week that it's hard, but that you're willing to approach it with softness, I could not be more honored to support you on that journey. Thank you so much for letting me do that. For everyone else, I would encourage you to let them be an inspiration for you, whether it's with your physical body or with your life in general, when you encounter those walls, remember, the harder something is, the more it requires my softness. Guys, I would love to work with you and welcome you into this amazing community in the Coaching and Challenge program. We have a holiday challenge that we're gonna do. It's gonna be a light requirement for time every week, but I wanna keep you focused and active through the holidays. So 
And we're going to be doing that starting in the middle of November and running through the end of the year. And then, of course, we have tons of challenges coming up for next year as well. Also, the neck and shoulder bundle flash sale. I know that a lot of people have to hopped on, but I always get people who ask me afterwards, hey, I missed it. So I just wanted to give you one final reminder on that too. The $9 flash sale of the neck and shoulder bundle, which includes two great classes to really help you start to get to some of that tension that you might have in your neck and shoulders and build the strength that you need to feel amazing in your upper body and your whole body is gonna get some love there as well because we're gonna get to the root of those issues. That ends on Wednesday night, depending on when you're watching this video, Wednesday night at midnight. So be sure to check that out as well. I'll have a link for all of these extra videos included with this as well. Guys, I learn as much from you, I, I know, maybe more than you learn from me, but I am so honored to witness your journey, to share in your journey, and I wish you so much bravery, strength, and courage in whatever it is you're facing in life right now. Be well, friends. Bye.